Today I got a brand new Lenovo ThinkPad 15.6 inch laptop. I'm going to do some upgrading on the inside. I'll open it up and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. Hey everybody, Dale here. How's it going? Today I have a brand new Lenovo ThinkPad laptop, 15.6 inch. Uh, it's brand new out of the box. Um, I'm going to do a little upgrading on the inside, but I want to give you a quick overview of the laptop. Of course, these ThinkPads are really nice. This one comes with the new 10th generation Core i5-10-210 quad-core processor. Uh, under the hood, though, it's not too impressive. This model shipped with a standard 500 gig hard drive and 8 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. Um, we're going to, I'm going to upgrade that. I'm going to leave the 500 gig hard drive in here, but I'm also going to install a brand new crucial P5 NVMe SSD. There's an M2 slot inside these things. So I'm going to add, it's a one terabyte, a very high performance drive. And I'm also going to take out the eight gig stick of memory in there and put in, in a stick of 16 gig DDR4, 2666 megahertz memory. So, it has a full 1080p HD display. Um, over on this side, we have our Ethernet port. We have a regular USB 2.0 port. Of course, your power button, the famous eraser mouse on these ThinkPads. Awesome trackpad. Um, got a headphone jack, got an HDMI port, two high-speed USB 3.1 ports, and a C USB port, which is also the charging port. This USB port here is a charging port, so when you got the laptop plugged in, you can plug in your phone or whatever and charge it through that USB port. Um, the power adapter is a 20 volt, 65 water, and it plugs into the USB C port to charge it. Works really well. So that's a quick overview of the laptop. I'm gonna close the lid and I'm gonna open it up so we can do our upgrading. Now once I get the new parts in it, I am going to do a fresh clean install of Windows 10 under the new NVMe drive. I'm going to clear that 500 gig hard drive that's in there, but the customer wants to just leave that in there. Could always replace that later with a SATA SSD drive if you want, of any size really. So the first thing I'm going to do, there's eight screws we've got to take out. I'm going to pop these screws out. Now, these screws do not come all the way out of the hole. Just unthread them all the way. But they stay in the hole, so you don't have to worry about losing them. Using my trusty little cordless screwdriver here. Just got to get them unthreaded all the way. Goes pretty quick. I'm using a number zero Phillips bit. You know, you can of course use a screwdriver like this as well. Just thought I'd try my cordless screwdriver there. Now I'm going to get my little spudger tool here and I'm going to go right along the seam here and just basically break it loose gently. And before you get inside, always make sure you're protected from static electricity. My bench tops, my floors, and my entire shop are all anti static. Been doing this for Gosh, 25 years now, never had a problem. So just make sure you're careful while static electricity. Get a wristband or an anti-static mat to work on if you're doing this at home. Just be gentle with your spudger tool. Now along the back here, sometimes it can be a little stubborn along the seam here, so let's see. I'm sliding this around on here. This is all scratch resistant. This is very soft, so Please don't leave me a comment saying I'm scratching the laptop because I'm not. All right, so before I do anything though, guys, I'm going to disconnect the battery right here from the motherboard just in case. It should pull right out just like that. Okay, as an added precaution, I'm going to carefully open it, hit my power button a couple times to discharge any juice that might be left in there. So here's the 500 gig Western Digital. It's a black edition. It's a 7200 RPM hard drive, but nonetheless, it's a hard drive. They're just not as fast, of course, as an SSD. So here's our M.2 PCI Express slot 2280, where I'm going to install my new NVMe drive. 
and just plug that in. Oop, got to remove that screw, my bad. The mounting screw that came with it, it's already in the hole. So we're just going to push that down, make sure it's in the slot all the way. Screw it back in. All right, so we got that installed. Now I'm going to take out our 8 gig, 2666. Yep, and I'm going to replace it with a 16 gig. Now, unfortunately, there's only one slot in here, guys, so we're only going to do one stick of RAM. Make sure it's in all the way. All right, so like I said, I'm going to leave this in. I'm going to I'm going to delete all the partitions on this and do the clean and saw on the NVMe drive that I just put in. Um, so let's that's basically about it. You got your battery now. These these have a really good battery life on these ThinkPads. About eight nine hours is what they say. Um, this is the Wi-Fi six. It does have Wi-Fi six um, for Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and hook our battery back up real quick here. Once you hook this battery up, just be careful, don't be dropping any tools in there. Okay? So we got our SSD, we're leaving this in, we're going to wipe it, we got our new memory in there. Going to make this a much better laptop. I'm going to go ahead and snap this back on, I'm going to wait to torque down all the screws just to make sure until after I'm basically done. Never know if you have to open it back up. So just those screws should not fall out, but just be conscious that they're kind of sticking out a little bit. So I am going to go ahead and plug in my AC adapter here. I think the battery's almost fully charged, but might as well. All right, so I'm going to put a link down below where you can go watch a video on how to make a USB installation drive for Windows 10. Now this model came with Windows 10 Pro, so it's going to be Windows 10 Pro when I'm all done. Um, it'll just activate, no problem. So this is a USB Windows 10 installation flash drive. I'm just going to put it in there. And I'm going to hit the power button and I believe I want to get to the boot menu here. So I'm going to start tapping the heck out of the F12 key here. Now when you put in new memory, sometimes, sometimes it takes a minute for it to post. Don't panic. I really like these ThinkPad lap laptops, though they're well built. This one just didn't come with a lot of good stuff as far as the drive and the memory. Come on. I don't want it to boot off the hard drive. I want to boot off my... I'm probably going to miss it here. Ah. All right, we're going to try that again. These can be real stubborn. <clears throat> All right. So, okay, now we're going to choose, uh, oh, F12, sorry. So now we're in our boot menu, so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to choose my Kingston Data Traveler USB drive. We're going to boot off of that now. It's F12 to get to that boot menu, you just have to do it, you have to time it just right. Sometimes I get it on the first try, sometimes I don't. So I'm going to choose United States because that's where I'm at. I'm going to hit next, install now. Doing these clean installs with a solid state NVMe drive, it goes really quick guys. Um, but once I'm in Windows, I get Windows installed, of course, you want to get all the Windows updates. I'm going to go to Lenovo's website and download a few things. I'm going to go into the App Store and get the Lenovo Vantage app. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete. Here's our new NVMe drive, which is where I'm going to install Windows. But I'm going to delete all these partitions on that Western Digital Drive. 
because that's just going to be an extra storage drive in there once I'm all said and done. <clears throat> All right, so there's our 500 gig drive, the first one, and this is the one we're gonna install Windows on. That's our new one terabyte SSD, so I'm gonna click Next. Now this process won't take too long, I'm not gonna bore you through all this. Once this is almost done, I'll come back and I'll wrap it up, guys, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got it. Installation files all copied over, so I'm just gonna walk you through this quick initial setup here. Uh, region, of course, United States, U.S. keyboard, skip additional layouts. I always choose I don't have internet, it just goes a little quicker, plus it won't force you to set up a Microsoft account, you can always do that later, but we don't care about that right now, so I just hit don't have internet, limited setup, again, you can change all this stuff later in settings, just going to put, you can put whatever name you want there, of course. No password, and for, I turn off all this stuff here from Microsoft, <clears throat> we can deal with it later. I'll leave the location on though. We don't care about that right now, not now. So in a short amount of time we'll be in Windows and we'll have a much faster performing laptop. Again, I'm going to go to Lenovo's website and get a bunch of their additional drivers and some of the utilities for like the function keys. The Lenovo Vantage app, you can download free through the Microsoft Store. I recommend getting that. It allows you to control a lot of functionality and updates on the laptop itself through Lenovo. It's a pretty handy little app. I'll have links down below on the parts that I put in here. Don't forget to subscribe. If you love the video, give me a like if you like it. Shouldn't take too long, guys. Like I said, this is Windows 10 Pro. It ships with that. It's considered a business laptop. These ThinkPads, most of them. Got a decent processor in it, but just didn't have a lot of memory and a clunky old hard drive. So now we're in Windows. <clears throat> All right, so now it's going to search for display driver. I'm not connected to the internet, but let's just, um, actually, let me go ahead and connect to the internet real quick, guys. Oops, sorry, cameraman. There, got my ethernet. I don't care about that. So if we go to start, go to settings. You can see Windows is all activated, no problem. Got to make sure when you go to Lenovo's website on these, you download their touchpad software. Works really well. You can see it's Windows 10 Pro. We now have 16 gigabytes of memory. It's the i5-10-210 processor. And real quick, we'll just open up File Explorer here. And you can see the 500 gig drive isn't showing up yet because it's, there's, it's not allocated. So all you got to do is I'm going to right click on the Start menu. I'm going to go to Disk Management right here. And it should pop up. It's right there. That's our 500 gig unallocated drive so I'm going to right click and choose new simple volume and then I just accept all the defaults here get a drive letter drive letter D next NTFS finish quick format boom now we got a now we got an additional 500 gig drive so there's our new one one terabyte NVMe drive and our 500 gig hard drive to put whatever you want on so that was a nice quick little upgrade guys, it's going to run a lot faster now. I'll get all the drivers, all the stuff from Lenovo, and we should be good to go. I hope the video was helpful, I appreciate y'all watching, have a great day.